Hey guys, so I chose to do my second career profile on a family crisis center worker. Um, the organization that I used for my example organization was that I actually found a family crisis center that's located here in Rexburg, so I used that one. Um, I don't currently know anybody that has this career, so I didn't have a career contact. Um, as far as the working environment goes, uh, from what I found is that the working hours for this career can sometimes be late because there is a crisis hotline and some employees may need, need to work night shifts and could be asked to work long hours and possibly holidays, depending. Um, there's a lot of smaller organizations that go into the Family Crisis Center and those are food banks, crisis counseling, therapy for children and shelters. Um, some of these smaller organizations are volunteer jobs and it can sometimes be not so flexible just because of the crisis hotline and it's open 24 hours. So sometimes you're asked to work like long hours or you're working night shifts, which makes it not so flexible at times. Um, some of the stressors that can happen in this career is that since this job focuses mainly on helping those individuals who suffer from abuse or assault, mainly women and children, it can sometimes be hard to see those um, traumatic situations that they've been through and that they've had to injure. Um, it can also be a hostile environment because it's very stressful because you're working with um, the law enforcement and you're working also with court advocacy. So that can sometimes be stressful. And also, I mean, you're intervening in, in the lives of children and women who are being mistreated. Uh, the typical benefits, as far as health and financial benefits, I couldn't find anything anywhere that said what kind of benefits that they offer for health and financial. So I'm thinking that employees may need to provide their own health insurance and stuff like that. But um, one other benefit is that you're able to work with children who, and you are able to help children and families who are going through hard situations. Um, some of the common job tasks that I found on, found on the website that the Rexburg Family Crisis Center had listed was that um, there's answering phones, working the food bank, counseling with women and children who suffer from abuse or assault, and working closely with law enforcement and legal advocacy. Um, for the educational requirements, it kind of just depends on what area or organization you're working in with the Family Crisis Center. Um, if you are a counselor, obviously, you're going to need to have your counseling degree to be able to counsel those that need counseling. But if you're just working in the crisis hotline or you're working like the food bank or working closely with um, those uh, clients who are like continuing to come back because of certain situations, then you just um, need to have some training in domestic violence and sexual assault. And the training that they want you to have, they offer, I believe they give you some classes that you can um, choose from to take that training. So you just have to acquire that training through courses. Um, okay, so the starting salary range for uh, those who are working in the, who are not working in the counseling area is about 10 to $11 an hour. Um, but it goes up the more experienced you are. So if you are a counselor and you're working in the Family Crisis Center, then you get paid about $37,370 a year. Um, okay, and then some miscellaneous career information that I kind of found was that um, I was reading a lot of reviews for like a person who works in a Family Crisis Center. And a lot of the reviews I read read said that you don't do this for the money, um, because if you're, unless you're a counselor, you're not going to get paid the very best amount of money. So it would be, it's like not the best to support a family on, but 
you do it because you want to help people. And they said that they did it because they wanted to make a difference in the lives of other people, and especially those who were going through domestic violence and sexual assault. Um, they also said that even though the pay isn't that great, it is rewarding to help children and families who are in need of help. Anyways, that is it for my presentation. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for listening.